everyone, welcome back to Card Magic 101. Today we're not actually going to be going over a magic trick. Today we're going to be going over something a little simpler, but it's something that's very essential um, if you want to get started in even in just casual magic, not even if you're just pursuing a career in magic or whatever. It doesn't have to be that serious. Um, but what we're going to be going over is the Riffle Shuffle. Um, which is something used in every day. You don't even have to be doing magic, even if you're just playing a card game with your friends. Um, you'll there are many games where you'll want to be able to shuffle the cards well. Um, so I, I'm going to start making uh, some more tricks. I'll kind of jump back and forth between uh, making magic uh, tutorials and also just making tutorials on things that are either essential to um, sleight of hand or just the um, essential things that you just need to know in general like um, regular riffle shuffles or maybe false shuffles, false cuts, just everything like that. Kind of the in-betweens that you don't really get many tutorials on. Um, so yeah, before we get into the video though, um, I just want to show the, um, I got a new deck of cards. Um, they're called Artisans by Theory11. Um, they're a really great design. I highly recommend getting any cards by Theory11, honestly. Um, the box has a very great des design, great texture, and um, the faces of the cards are just standard uh, bicycle faces, which I have nothing against. I like the um, standard um, pips and uh, all the um, designs on the front. Uh, very traditional, uh, but the but the backs of the cards look very nice as well. Um, there's the black edition of this uh, deck and the white edition. I got both. Um, but I'm using the black deck for now. I probably prefer the black deck. Um, so, yeah, let's get into um, the Riffle Shuffle. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications to get informed uh, whenever I post videos like this because there's going to be a lot more coming on the way. So, uh, basically, the way that I do a Riffle Shuffle, um, kind of the traditional way to do it, uh, looks like this. So, um, yeah, that wasn't the best shuffle, but um, it's uh, it, being able to uh, riffle down uh, to, like, thumb off half the cards looks pretty cool when you're able to... Um, it looks very nice when you're doing the shuffle. Also, the bridge at the end looks good, too. So, this is really... Um, this doesn't t really take practice. You'll You'll honestly be shuffling on your own, and it won't take long to get this down. So... Let's get to the um, for the shuffle itself. So I guess for the, the entire shuffle, there's kind of three parts. There's the thumbing down, and then there's the shuffle. There's the shuffle itself, which you could end it there and just push them together. But then there's the bridge at the end. So let's get into the first part. So the position you want your um, hand to be in is you're going to have your three these three fingers on the bottom, and you don't want them to be uh, you want them to be pretty far down because you're going to be um, having to hold cards out like this and if you have your hand like up here the cards are going to fall like that so you want to make sure you have a nice grip on the bottom of the deck so um, I'd say for me that is about good for me um, kind of like that and then your thumb is going to be on the top and it's going to be what's doing that uh, riffling through the cards and your but um, if I didn't if I wasn't using my index finger it would just look like that which is not good. So your index finger is what's going to build the tension, bending the cards back. So when you thumb off, they they shoot forward, but they don't like fall out of your hands. So your index finger is going to be curled against the deck, and you're going to bend your thumb back against it, so that this top part bows back. It's like that. Um, so what you're going to be doing is um, this. This is a pretty. This doesn't take super long to uh, learn. If you don't want to go through the trouble of that, you can just cut the deck in half like that and then get with the shuffle. Uh, but what you're doing is you're just going to move it down until you get to about half the cards. It's pretty self-explanatory. So once you have it like this, keep this break, and you're going to bring in your left hand, grab the edge right here, and then what you're going to be doing is pivoting this part, the bottom part up to flip it over and then grab it like this position. Uh, so three fingers on the bottom, thumb on the top. The same way that you uh, riffled down the card, riffled through the cards, is how you're going to do the shuffle. So I'll go through that uh, one more time. 
uh, you're going to hold the cards, three fingers on the bottom, thumb on top, uh, index finger curled in the middle. You're going to, um, I, it's kind of hard to do it like that. That kind of works, but it kind of hurts your thumb. So the way I do it is I kind of have my thumb along the side, and that's easier, and I kind of am more accurate at that. So um, you're holding it in this grip, and then you're going to uh, riffle down to about half, pinch the uh, this uh, extended part, flip, and you're using your fingers on the bottom to push up, and then grab it with the same grip that this one, uh, that your right hand is in. Then you can you can square it up a little. Um, the faster you do it, the less it'll, the less messy it is. So, and then um, the the good thing is that if you learn to do that, then this is much easier. You're going to um, use the exact same grip that you used to thumb down, but there will probably there'll be a little more tension as you can see, and you're basically holding it back, and then you're slowly moving your thumbs up like that and you you kinda want the best shuffles would be like a one for one and that that wasn't great since I was doing it slower it looks more like uh, two for two there's some sections of two or even more than that in some spots um, uh, but that comes with more speed so I'll do it again so the same grip uh, sometimes uh, since it's a smaller pack you don't even need to have your pinky on the um, deck it can kinda just be off to the side but um, you're bowing back by pushing with the index finger and pulling with the thumb and then you can the good thing also another good thing about the shuffle is you don't have to have it against the um, table you can also do it in the air uh, which is a nice way to, uh, about doing the shuffle so um, the exact same way that you um, riffled through the cards you're just going to release with your thumb until you get to the top so now you have the cards weaved together like this now what you're going to do here is uh, I'll push them together a little bit so they stay in place. Pick up the entire, uh, all of the deck, and then you're going to um, hold the deck like this, um, and then in this grip. So you're going to have your all your basically all your fingers on the bottom, and then your thumbs on the top. And essentially the movement, my fingers are put, placed against um, this section of my hand. And essentially what's happening is, uh, I might need to pull these out a little bit, is you're holding your thumbs on the top so these don't bend up, and you're curling this down, and your pinkies are put, your fingers are pushing up against the card to keep this bow shape. And essentially the bridge motion is holding that right here and releasing your fingers. And um, the cards will naturally um, move uh, kind of flow down in this very um, satisfying way. So uh, I'll do it again. So you put your thumbs here, all your fingers pushed against these uh, bottom cards. So they don't fly off. Keep put, keep your thumbs pushed on top. Bend it in, and then release your fingers, and they'll all uh, kind of shoot out. And you're also uh, to build it. You can also move your hands out a little bit to uh, help release that tension. Um, so the whole thing looks like this, with this grip, riffle down half, pinch, push, same grip as riffling down, like that, thumbs on top, fingers on bottom, bend, release fingers, and then pull out, pull your hands out a little bit so that there's that space. So, uh, yeah, th that's basically the riffle shuffle. Um, there's other variations of it, uh, there's like some ways you can do table shuffles like that or whatever. Um, but that, that's the basic shuffle that is, um, good to learn. Uh, it's a great starting shuffle. After that, you can learn, like, the Pharaoh shuffle and stuff like that. Um, so that, that's basically it. Uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, what you want to see next. I've been doing a lot of magic, but I'm kind of transitioning into some other stuff. Um, but I can keep I can keep doing more uh, going back into mostly just magic tutorials. Um, but uh, just let me know what you want to see. Um, I'll make videos for whatever you wanna uh, want me to make. Um, once again, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and turn on notifications to be informed whenever I post. And uh, once again, I highly recommend buying uh, these art this artisan deck by Theory Eleven. They're great cards, great feel, 
um, definitely worth the money. But yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.